Okay, everybody. Woo! I have been a busy, busy beaver. Look at me. I have made myself a nice little iron farm, which goes on, as well as a nether portal gold farm. And you may say, but aren't those big projects? And I may say to you, <gasps> yes. Yes, they are. But I am not really about necessarily the plain and simple things. These did not really have much in the way of redstonery. They're more just simple building. So I left them alone. And now we're going to go ahead and pop right on over and take a look at what I have actually done. So, woo! Up and swoop de doop. So, I have set it up so that the uh, iron farm will go ahead and funnel its items up. Plop them right on over. You stand right here and swingy, swingy, swingy with your looting sword at these beautiful pigmen that drop here. The items will sort themselves right into their individual necessities, starting with iron ingots. Uh, we do get string, as well as poppies. Of course, coarse rotten flesh is in abundance, as well as nuggets and ingots to round it out. Give yourself an ender chest to get in here. Crafting table so you can make the blockies. And, of course, as non-stackable items, such as their swords, which do come in, uh, filter in, they go ahead and pop right into this chest, and into the furnace, and get smelted into nuggets. Now, of course, we do end up using two sticks for every item that's in there. Uh, however, that's like half a plank, and honestly... It makes it so that you don't waste any additional fuel. You can have a nice reservoir back there so you can swingy swing away. Now, the reason for this is because while I do enjoy uh, the iron greatly that's needed for all my redstone bitseries, uh, the gold was something that we don't have necessarily in great abundance or renewably. And I needed it for today's project, uh, which is going to involve a little bit more of a redstone component in order to help out the server. We are having, uh, you know, just making sure that our economy runs smoothly. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and set ourselves up with a bit of a banky bank. So we're going to need to go ahead and take a look at the options available redstone wise. I think I might be able to pull a little magic out of my pocket. Let me just go ahead and see if I go like little. Ah! Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in our beautiful test world. And <gasps> what's this? I think we found ourselves the system we're going to use in our bank. Magic. Hmm. So, we take a look here, and it appears that um, this is a nifty little section. Uh, of course, the actual building will be much larger, as we're going to have uh, pieces for pretty much everything. But, the way that it's going to work is essentially, uh, you go down the tier system, from, you know, netherite all the way down, and you pay for each as you go. So, in theory, you're not going to be buying netherite blocks. Right, but you might buy netherite ingots. To buy a netherite ingot, you would need a diamond block. So, in this system, I have set it up so that you can place in all of your diamond blocks, but it won't take them. That's important uh, because it makes it so that you pretty much won't lose your items. Even if you put the wrong thing in here and click the button, you don't lose your item. It just stays in the dropper, which is nice so that you don't make accidents happen because, yeah, that happens. But uh, if you have the lamp here lit, then you know this item is in stock. Uh, and so you can go ahead and press this button. 
and boom, you get yourself one of that item out of the floor. Uh, it's a pretty nice little setup and allows you uh, a lot of good indicators such as the stocking indicator and things like that. So I do have right here the ability to pick up payments uh, in my section. Good old uh, warehousing space, gotta love it. Uh, but as you see here, we have a uh, pretty simple setup. When the item filter, which is right here, uh, unlocks, it allows the item through, which the item doesn't go down because this hopper is locked here. Uh, and the hopper is locked below, all by beautiful Torchy here. Uh, when we go ahead and pass the signal through, uh, that also passes the signal onto that dropper, which allows us to spit the item out. In addition, we have the ability to read how much, well, not really how much, but if there's any inventory available in there so that we can go ahead and uh, let us know up here. Pretty nifty system, and it is compact and compatible to be stacked next to each other. So I can actually uh, have the next item right here. So if I want to exchange, for instance, um, a iron block for a diamond, then I would come over and place my diamond in the dropper and get an iron block. So that would allow us a nice exchange on a block for ingot kind of basis, uh, meaning that you would kind of need to have the next tier onward in order to go through. I think it was actually that you would have an iron block to get a diamond. I think is the way that it goes. But we'll see on the server. Anyways, catch you there. Alrighty then. So, this is its start. Not too bad. Um, kind of centered on the path here. I might do something with this just to clear up the view. But there is the start to it. Um, not quite sure what we're doing with the ceiling. We're looking at, um, right here, it's significantly wider than I initially anticipated, but then I remembered that I have a significant amount of back that I have to go. So, well, that should give me plenty, and then I gotta go back quite a bit as well. So, hopefully that does provide us with, uh, quite a bit of space, and, uh, this is going to use a lot of quartz, so... R.I.P. my quartz. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. So set up here, nice and beautiful. We have each and every one of them nicely arranged. Uh, the way that it works is pretty good. Back in here, I've got some beautiful things let's go ahead and give this a shot so up top is what you're going to be placing in the dropper down below is what you're going to be receiving so i can go ahead and place in here my emerald blocks press the button and out pops the beautiful iron ingot it only takes the one and it takes a pulse each time now, from each individual one, you can trade, and you'll note that the trade is equal. One iron ingot gets you one emerald block. One emerald block gets you one iron ingot. And then so on through, gold for iron, gold gives you iron. In addition, Diamond, get you gold. You need diamonds, you give gold. 
Uh, we also have over here diamonds for netherite ingot. There is a stalking light here. So when this light is off, it lets you know. And every single one has its own stalking light so that you know which one is the stock light for each individual. We are selling shulker shells as well. I am taking redstone for an iron ingot at this time. This trade may change. We'll see what happens here. So over here, uh, if you want, say, a netherite ingot, you can go ahead and put in diamond. But let's say you wanted to try to cheat the system. Maybe try to give me an ancient Debrabus instead. Tapping it in, get nothing. But also, it doesn't take it away, so you can take your thing back. But you do put in the correct thing, tap it up, and out comes your netherite ingot. So whatever you choose to do here allows you to be able to trade in your netherite ingot, for instance, for a diamond block. There you go. Even Steven trade. Now, I do have... Uh, the rest of the outside structure all set up nice and beautiful and uh, I think it does well in order to get in you need to press this little button down here and then the door opens up and in we scooch uh, I really like the way that this came out I think it came out really well now if uh, you do have any interest in joining uh then we do have a patreon s set up so that you can uh join us through that and uh if you feel like we get a like give us a like and uh subscribe if you can and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day uh bye, -bye.